I'm not telling you how to drink it, I'm just so you don't get a bit embarrassed in the bar. Because people, because first of all, you'll ask for it, and the barman will, and whilst the barman is trying to say this, the rest of the bar will go really quiet and start going, and you'll feel it, you'll feel it. So, it should just be mixed with distilled water. Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, let's go see the world. Hello, welcome, and thanks so much for listening to the Midlife Traveler podcast. We are in the midst of season one, which is mostly a series on Scotland, where you get to experience Scotland through the voice and the opinions and the mind of a Scotsman named James, and occasionally through my own personal experiences. My name's Laura, I am your host, and this episode today is part of the ones that are focused on whiskey. So if you've been following the other episodes on whiskey, you've probably heard James's theory about how whiskey could be a little time machine. You've probably heard and learned about whiskey bottling dates and the importance of those dates. You've learned about the globalization and the, you know, this massive spike in whiskey drinking worldwide that uh, may be leading us to, or actually is leading us to, a single malt whiskey shortage. And this episode today is part of that, but it's talking about how to order, or more specifically, how not to order a single malt whiskey when you're in Scotland in a bar. And when when James was talking about this, he it was just kind of this casual advice, like, hey guys, I, I don't want you to embarrass yourself when you're in a bar and you're ordering this. Because he knew, he was aware, we told him that we're really not whiskey drinkers normally. And so he was giving us as travelers and and tourists that are just there for a short time, like, hey, if you're going to go into a bar, just think about this before you order a whiskey. And the gist of it is this. You don't ask for single malt whiskey to be mixed with anything. If you know that you're ordering a 12-year whiskey, for example, just ask for that that whiskey by itself. If you ask for a 12-year whiskey to be mixed, say, with Coca-Cola, you you will or should be served that separately, a separate whiskey and a separate Coca-Cola, because that's just not cool in that bar, and you will hear James explain why. So in sharing this, it's really, he shared it with us to save us our own embarrassment when ordering in a bar or a pub. And just like other recordings in this series, this was a field recording. It was taken as we were driving through the Scottish Highlands um, from a distillery. So it's a short story, and the audio quality might be a bit sketchy in a couple places, but it's still a great story to share. And actually, it's not a story. It's great advice. It's great advice to share if you're not already a whiskey drinker. Whiskey drinkers probably know this already, but to those of us that that may just go to Scotland and order it just to try it. It's good advice. So with that, here's the advice from James on how to order, or more specifically, how not to order single malt Scottish whiskey while you're in Scotland. Enjoy. If you go into a bar in Edinburgh, a bar, a decent bar that knows its stuff, and you ask for a single malt, That's all you should be asking for. You will then be given a very, very small amount of distilled water in a pipette. You would add a little drop of water to your single malt whiskey. If you go into a bar and you ask for, can I have that 12 year Balbeni and cola please? The the barman will say to you, he'll try to be polite and he'll say, oh sorry sir, did did you just ask for that single malt whiskey? and a can of Coca-Cola. And if you say to him, no, 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 I want that together, he'll say, no, sir, no, sir. What you want is that single malt whiskey and a can of Coke. Because he is not going to serve you that drink because if he does, he will have to live with that 
for the rest of his life because the regular drinkers in there will never let him forget. It is absolutely okay and socially acceptable to have a Jack and Coke. Uh, lots of Scotch whiskey you can drink with cola. It's just, it, it, it shouldn't be a single malt. First of all, it will taste because Jack and Coke's quite refreshing. Rye and Sours is quite refreshing. But single malt's got a very pungent, smoky, and you just mix that with a sweet syrup. It, it, so I'm not telling you how to drink it. I'm just so you don't get a bit embarrassed in the bar, because people, because because first of all you'll ask for it, and the barman will, and whilst the barman is trying to say this, the rest of the bar will go really quiet and start going, and you'll feel, you'll feel it, you'll feel it. So it should just be mixed with distilled water. The reason I say distilled water is that uh, tap water can have flavourings in it from the pipes or fluorides. So you boil the water, let it cool down, and all that will do is is thin out the whiskey. It won't change the whiskey's flavour.